Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the HP EliteBook 660G11. To gain access to the internals of this business machine, you have to undo just five captive Phillips head screws. The opening process is very similar to other HP machines of this caliber. Pop the two zones near the top two edges with a lever tool. Raise the plate around the upper central screw as well. Now, the rear side should be fully popped. After that, work your way around the sides and the front. The laptop we bought has an optional 56 watt hour battery, while the default version is a 48 watt hour model. To remove it, detach the connector from the main board, push down the plastic holder in front of the battery, and carefully slide it to the left. The capacity is enough for around 11 hours of video playback. Our test was conducted with the battery saver preset activated in the Windows Power and Battery menu. The WAN slot on the left of the cooling is for optional 4G LTE connectivity. There is just a single Gen 4 M.2 slot for storage upgrades. The pre-installed 2280 NVMe drive is covered with a heat shield. The RAM zone has a metal cap on top which can be easily popped with a lever tool. According to HP, the two memory slots are compatible with up to 64 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 megahertz RAM in dual channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 96 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Each RAM module is additionally cooled by a thermal pad. The Wi-Fi 6E card is positioned close to the CPU chip. The cooling comprises one large fan, a heat pipe, one long heat sink, and a heat spreader. Check out our full review on LaptopMedia.com.